So we've just heard the story of uh, Gideon, who God chose to rescue the Israelites uh, from the Midianites. But Gideon was scared and he wanted to be absolutely sure of what was going on, absolutely sure before he said yes to God. So Gideon asked God for a sign. So Gideon put a sheepskin on the ground and asked God to wet it, but leave the ground around perfectly dry. And it's God an did obvious this. thing to ask, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. God did it. But Gideon actually still wasn't ready to say yes. He wasn't completely confident. So he asked God to do it the other way around. Leave the sheepskin dry, wet on all the earth around, if you please, God. And do you know what? God did that too. And so Gideon said yes to God. However, Gideon wasn't ready to completely trust God. He wanted to say yes to God and have the backup of a large army. So he said yes to God, but was relying on his own strength. Now, during our family service, we've been thinking about saying yes to God. And this morning, we're going to think about how we can say yes to God and then depend on God and put our trust in him. I don't know about you, it can be easy to say yes to God and then to rely on our own uh, abilities, to say that Jesus is our saviour and then act as though it all depends on us. But it is always good to be prepared though, isn't it, Becca? I can do anything so long as I have my emergency suitcase of emergency <laughs> items with me. With that, I can do anything. It's a bit like the Paddington Bear and the marmalade sandwich under the hat thing. Okay, what have you got in your suitcase, Richard? And we'll, we'll see if, how prepared okay. you are. Well, I'm prepared enough to have a table here to put it on while I open it. So that is so fun. prepared. Yeah. Okay. What is in... Does anyone want to have a guess? Anyone? Pants. <laughs> Pants. Close. <laughs> Socks. One, two, three, four, five. Richard, you've six, literally just come up seven, the hill to church. Eight, nine, ten pairs of socks. For one and a half hours at church. You can't be too ready for this, okay. Becca. I've got an umbrella. I've got a sun hat. Doesn't quite fit. It is. Uh, what else have I got? I've got five toilet rolls. We do uh, have Luro at church, Richard. We're not. I know, actually, the most recent delivery was sent to our house. <laughs> I, know, I know we've got a lot of toilet roll. I've got uh, post-it notes in case I need to leave a little message for myself. I've got a picnic rug. Have you and, got a picnic? And a nice sort of... That, would, that, would that be useful? And a skipping rope. <laughs> and, and my camera tripod. Do you have your camera? I don't have my camera. That... Darn. <laughs> so, Richard... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be prepared. I yeah. really don't think you need ten pairs of socks just to come to church, but okay. <laughs> Or five Lee rolls, but anyway. Um, but I ha hate to break it to you, but the story of Gideon, well, that challenges us to not trust in our preparedness, not to trust in our own resources, not to trust in our five Lee rolls, <laughs> but to trust in God. No, really? Yeah. So Gideon, he gathered a big army to face the Midianites, and God told him his army was too big. God wanted Gideon to trust in him, not in his army. So God said to Gideon to tell anyone in his army who was scared to go home. So I'm afraid, Richard, I'm going to have to ask you not to trust in your Leroy. They need to come out the suitcase. Sniff. And actually, maybe the socks as well. Can I leave one new roll in my case? I don't know. I'm not sure about negotiating with God. 
I'm quite disappointed about I this. I can see it. You're hiding it. <laughs> All right, then. Anything else, or is that, is that enough, Ida Mike? Really <laughs> sorry, Richard. Yeah. You're not going to like what I have to say next. Because do you know what? Even after those who were scared had gone home, God still said Gideon's tape. army was too big. And so God said to Gideon to lead his army down to the water and to get them all to have a drink. And those who had a drink by scooping the water to their mouths, they were the ones to stay. Everyone that took their mouth down to the water, well, they had to go home. So I think really, given that that's what God said to Gideon, you're going to have to take some more stuff out of your suitcase of preparedness. I suppose, to be fair, this hat doesn't really fit me that well, does how it? About, how about the picnic rug and the blanket? And the kugel? Oh, I didn't even mention that. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Actually, the post-it notes as well, I think. Hey, you're still hiding some socks. <laughs> Only one pair. <laughs> okay. You feeling cross at me? Yes. I'm feeling very cross at you, actually. <laughs> I am deeply disappointed in you. And I'm feeling like you're not really trusting me. I'm feeling like you're putting me down in front of all these people. And I'm... <sighs> Maybe you better hang on to your suitcase before I do anything else to it. Because do you know what, Richard? Gideon picked up his sword ready for the battle and God told him it was the wrong weapon. And so I think really the suitcase is just going to need to go. The whole suitcase. The whole suitcase. Thank you. I feel really bad now. I'll be back. This is how to break down relationships with your lay readers. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't panic, though. I can see you panicking. Uh, God did tell Gideon to give his army some new weapons. Do you know what he told Gideon to give his army? He told them, he told Gideon to give them a trumpet, a torch, and a jar. And do you know what? That's how they won the war. Not with swords or a big army, which is what, what you think you'd need to win a war. They won the war when they blew their trumpets really loud and they shone their torches really brightly and they broke their jars, causing such chaos that the Midianites, well, they ended up fighting themselves. So what's God gonna give me then? I don't know, but do you know what? Now that you don't have your suitcase to rely on, your five toilet rolls and your 10 pairs of socks and your post-it notes and your picnic rug and your blanket and your kagool and your camera stand, well now you're looking to God and you can begin to rely on him. Okay. <laughs> because it's easy actually to say yes to God in our own strength and it's, it's really hard to let go of the things that we feel we need that are just going to be the things that help us to get through. So we're going to spend some time thinking about how God might be calling each of us to grow in trust and to grow in our dependence on him. We're going to sing and then we're going to have an opportunity to respond.